Hi there. Um, it is 31st of July as I record this video, day 102 post transplant, and I just had my day 100 bone marrow biopsy, my fifth one. Um, and you're about to see that. What's different with this one compared with previous bone marrow biopsies that I've had is that this time they are taking a solid sample of bone marrow as well as a liquid sample. Liquid being the you know bone marrow blood is what I've always had taken in the past. This time it's that as well as a solid piece of bone marrow. So it'll be very interesting to see how that's done. Now, the doctor at Southampton who performed my biopsy, she was really great, very experienced, and uh, she was kind enough to explain sort of the procedure to us. Um, this was after I'd had the procedure, thankfully. I wouldn't want to know all this stuff uh, before it happens anyway. But I've put it at the beginning of the video just so you sort of understand what's happening uh, as it happens. So, um... There is a little bit of needles involved and things like that, uh, so viewer discretion is advised, and uh, away we go. So that's the, that, this is the aspirate needle, right? So what this is is a hollow needle with a bit in the middle. So obviously, if you've just put, had a hollow needle and you went into the bone, the bone would go up the inside of the hollow needle. Mm. So that's why in, when you put it into the bone initially. It has the stylet on the end. So you go into the outside, through the bone, into the jam. Yeah? You take that bit out, and then you attach the syringe, and you suck it out. Mm -hmm. So then that's that one finished. This one is a bit more fruity. This is the biopsy needle. So you can see it's, again, a hollow needle, but it has a different stylet in the middle. Because what you have to do is get through the outer bit of the bone, the hard bit, because that's not got any bone marrow in it. That's just we call subcortical bone and then once you're into that bit this is why this is as sharp as a scalpel that's why you don't need to cut the skin so it's very sharp do you can see that mm. so when you've gone through into the bone you then take this middle bit out and you can see here it's got a specially cut shaped end yeah which is curves in a bit yeah. and is sharp and that cuts the core so then you're like that. So then you've got this core of bone up the middle of the needle. So then you use this implement, you see, which is split. You mm. See that? Yeah. That's called the trap. So that goes inside and that captures the sample and breaks it off to a degree inside. So you turn it round, that dis disin stops it, you know, cuts it away from the inside. You take the whole thing out and then that that you've got in there is in the trap. Wow. Yeah. You then use this thing, a prong, to push it out into your pond. Yeah. Amazing. Fascinating. Mm. Fascinating. There you go. Which is marvelous. Nitrous oxide on its own is an acid. Give it milk. All right. So that's why we mix it with the oxygen to tone it down a bit, so it doesn't actually put people completely to sleep. What it does is take off the top edge of the discomfort. Anesthetic going in. Okay. Nice steady breathing, that's really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Y
going like that. Okay, so you keep staying where you are. That's good. Slightly back towards me. That's lovely. Very good. Here we go. Okay. Goodbye, Tim. And then Okay, so you might feel something funny now. Three, two, one. Well done. Good boy, too. Yeah. I know it does well hurt a bit more sometimes afterwards because breathe you've got out, more cells. It. It. I should breathe out. After your leukemia yeah. treatment it's a bit watery, but now it should be nice and healthy, so it's sometimes it's a bit thicker, it's a bit more uncomfortable. Good boy, too. Well done. Are you laughing? Needle gap. <laughs> Who knows what he's doing? He's just enjoying the internet. <laughs> 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 just keep going like that, you're doing great. Okay, well done. Okay. Well done. Good boy, Taylor. And here you can see the piece of bone marrow that they took out. Uh, it's about the size of half a matchstick. So, there you have it. That was a um, full bone marrow biopsy. Uh, the reason they did the solid sample this time and not any other time is because it's the 100 day post transplant one. And uh, by doing a solid sample, they can not only tell what cells are in the bone marrow but also how they're arranged by chopping it up real fine and they can see the arrangement of the cells in the bone marrow. Now I hope this has been uh, informative, uh, educational, interesting perhaps, a little bit gross but um, you know it's it's about sharing the experience so uh, any questions anyone has about the procedure, feel free to drop a comment. I'll do my best to answer any. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you later.